My garden bed wasn't thriving, the soil felt heavy, compacted, and almost lifeless. When it rained, water would just pool on the surface, refusing to soak in. I rarely saw any earthworms, which is a major red flag for poor soil health. I was considering a complete overhaul, thinking I'd need to buy bags of expensive compost and amendments to bring it back to life. Before I went to all that trouble, I decided to try one last, simple experiment. It was a long shot, something I'd read about online. And honestly, I didn't expect it to do much at all. I applied a light dusting of a single, unexpected ingredient. The change was staggering. Just a few weeks later, the soil's surface came alive. It was like a switch had been flipped. Every time I dug in, the soil was teeming with earthworms. Not just one or two, but dozens, wriggling and working through the soil. It was a true worm flood, a population explosion that I had never witnessed in any of my garden beds before. The soil itself felt different, darker, richer, and full of life. And the most incredible part, I hadn't added any compost, no manure, no store-bought fertilizers, or any of the usual soil conditioners. This wasn't about adding bulk organic matter, it was about triggering a biological response. Seeing this transformation firsthand completely changed my perspective on soil regeneration. The results were so profound, they honestly blew my mind. Before this, my soil was struggling. Let me show you what I was dealing with. The soil was incredibly dense and compacted. When I'd water, it would just pool on the surface before running off, barely penetrating the top layer. Digging into it felt like chipping away at a brick. This compaction created an environment with very little oxygen, making it hostile for beneficial life. And the biggest sign of this unhealthy low biology environment was the near total absence of earthworms. I could dig through an entire section and find almost nothing. It was a sterile, lifeless soil desert. I knew that a thriving worm population is a key indicator of a healthy soil ecosystem. They're the tireless workers who aerate the soil and enrich it with their castings. But my garden was sending them a clear message. Not welcome here. I tried the usual fixes, layering on rich compost. And while it helped the very top layer, it didn't solve the underlying structural issue. The compost just sat on top of that hard pan, failing to bring the deeper soil back to life. That's when I decided to test something different, something every gardener probably has at home. I took this simple ingredient, sprinkled it lightly over my raised bed, and watered it in just once. Then I covered the surface with damp cardboard to hold in moisture, and waited. No turning, no digging, no mixing, just sprinkle and leave it alone. By the end of the first week the soil surface had changed, soft, dark and full of tiny tunnels. After two weeks I lifted the cardboard and worms were everywhere, not a few, hundreds, they were feeding right where I sprinkled that mix. So what's happening here? This ingredient is rich in calcium and trace minerals that microbes love. When the microbes multiply, worms move in to feed on them. It's a simple food chain reaction, healthy microbes mean healthy worms, and healthy worms mean living soil. The secret? Crushed eggshells mixed with a touch of powdered oatmeal. Eggshells add calcium and grit that worms use for digestion, and the oatmeal gives microbes instant energy. Sprinkle that combination once, and nature does the rest. Ready to try this in your own garden? It's a simple process that can make a huge difference. Let's walk through the exact steps to invite that incredible worm activity into your soil. First, start with clean dry eggshells. You can briefly bake them to ensure they're sanitized. Then, Use a blender to grind them into the finest powder possible. This makes its calcium readily available and provides essential grit for the worm's digestion, helping them process organic matter. Next, add powdered oatmeal. A good ratio is about 4 parts eggshell powder to 1 part oatmeal. This carbohydrate is the perfect food to kickstart a microbial bloom, which is what really attracts the worms. You're ringing the dinner bell for the soil food. Web. Gently sprinkle a light dusting over your soil, about 1 to 2 tablespoons per square foot is plenty. Then, water it in lightly. You want the soil surface to be damp, not soggy. This moisture activates the mix and helps it begin working into the top layer. Finally, cover the area with a piece of damp cardboard or a thick layer of mulch. This keeps the soil moist and dark, creating an ideal habitat. Now, you just have to wait. In about 2 weeks, Lift that cover and prepare to be amazed by the life you find. After a month my raised bed was completely transformed. The soil was soft, rich, and full of life. Every handful had worms working through it, turning waste into pure, living compost. All from one simple sprinkle. Sometimes, improving soil doesn't take fancy products. 
Just understanding what life beneath the surface needs, when you feed the soil right, it rewards you, and sometimes it only takes one sprinkle to start the flood. If you found this experiment helpful, subscribe to Soil Story for more simple, real-life soil discoveries. Share this with a gardener who's trying to bring life back to their soil, and let's keep growing naturally.